the Prime Minister made a speech in which he was tilting against the windmills of history. He was fighting Nehru. He was fighting uh, the previous elections of 1950. <coughs> what about the problems of 2020? This was a political speech, a combative speech, a speech in which he has frankly gone after one particular party repeatedly, and yes, some individuals by name, I'm prepared to take it. As far as I'm concerned, everyone understands. We would have had no problem if his, if his, if his draft law had said persecuted minorities. I even moved an amendment that they rejected that would have said that. He said that we are actually being untrue to the intention of what Nehruji had said. Not true. I actually moved an amendment saying make it persecuted minorities. It's the naming of religions that we objected to because there was a particular communal signal being sent. So I don't uh, have any uh, uh, doubt that the arguments we have made about the Constitution stand. And the Prime Minister's comments, um, I'm afraid, were pure politics, a political speech on what should have been an important constitutional occasion.